Second team all pack 10 safety Shane Kalakoa, a junior from Marysville, picked off three passes during the season. He returned this one 32 yards to set up another Husky score. Washington upended Oregon 29 to 7. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, I had to make a list. Marysville Pilchuck High School, All-State running back and safety, plus basketball and baseball. University of Washington played for Don James. While there, he was the Huskies. So when they went 39-9. and nine. Remember those days? Yeah. That included the 1991 National Championship. All-Pac-10, Everett Harrell's 1992 Man of the Year in Sports. A UW Husky legend, three years in the NFL with the New Orleans Saints. To the video. into the Snohomish County Sports Hall of Fame to his resume. Last year, we welcomed his brother, Jeff Powakoa. Tonight, we welcome Shane Powakoa. Jim Moore Sr., Jim Moore Jr., uh, I'd like to thank them for giving me the opportunity to uh, you know, live out my dream and play in the NFL uh, for, for three years for the New Orleans Saints. Um, I'd like to say thank you to my 
three oldest friends. We got Keone, Ke Keone Brown, Keith Taylor, both Marysville firefighters. Uh, mm -hmm. Jim Miner, who is a Sonoma County deputy, still living in the hometown, and uh, I appreciate you guys for all your support. Uh, I'd like to thank, of course, my wife, uh, Kendra, uh, high school sweetheart. She's been my rock for 28 years. Always there for her love and support. Travel across the country, countless training camps, and the endless amount of ice bays she packed for me after games. So thank you. Uh, I'd also like to thank my three children. Keala, my oldest, Kanoi, my son, and my younger, Smiley. They were on the fence about coming. They were like, you know, they didn't really know me as an athlete. But like, when I mentioned Dick's Cheeseburgers, <laughs> the Husky football game, I'm taking my daughter to the Husky uh, uh, soccer game tomorrow and taco time, because we won't have that at <laughs> <laughs> They were like, sure, yeah, we'll work. <laughs> uh, so thank you for being here with me tonight. Biggest role model of my life, my little brother Jeff. I mean, this guy excelled in everything when I was growing up. He, uh, like any other irritating little brother, I had to do whatever he did. And it probably pissed him off quite a few times. But I guess that's what little brothers do. And, uh, you know, whatever he did, I was right behind him. He went to Washington. You know, I was borderline going to BYU, but I said, no, I can't leave my brother. I've got to be with him. You know, he made me stronger and uh, he made me tougher, and uh, you know, he made me a better person. And so thank you, Jeff. Uh, lastly, I think my mom and dad, Don and Wayne, they were sitting over there at the table. Uh, you know, they always encouraged Jeff and I to play every sport. I mean, we played basketball, baseball, soccer, track. I even wrestled for a couple of years, you know. I'll hold out my mind. And then of course, you know, football. It was, it was our sport, what we excelled in. And, uh, you know, they, you know, hard workers, you know, blue collar, lunch, lunch box, and, you know, they, they uh, made time to take us to practice, never missed a practice, mom picked me up, take me to Taco Bell, get something they make, take me to practice, you know, same as my brother, and, uh, you know, just in their skip work schedules, my dad went to graveyard, so he could come to all our games, you know, it's just, you know, it's a great story, and, you know, I just appreciate them so much, never missed a Husky game, and, uh, uh always pushed me to, to succeed when sometimes I didn't, you know, I might have lost a fight. I mean, but they're always there to back me up. And, you know, going to California for four, days, four years in a row for Christmas ain't really a bad thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> thank you, Mom and Dad. I love you very much. Uh, and, you know, in closing, you know, football gave me a, a sort of a way um, to kind of escape for a little bit. You know, a lot of times when I was growing up, people kind of judged me of, you know, how I looked with my scars and, and uh, you know, once once I put that helmet on, it kind of took me in a little different world. And you know, I can tell you that I played with heart and passion, and I had that uh, um, that I played with some reckless abandon. And uh, football gave me that opportunity to kind of drift off and not worry about what everyone thought. And I always always appreciate what football did for me. Um, you know, to this day, the memories um, I'll always remember the places that took me. But really, really, most of all, it's the, the people I met and the relationships I built. Um, and they were, you know, like with Mike and Damon. And, and uh, so it's, it's those things where I'm going to uh, walk away from this board with. And um, thank you again. It's just a great honor to be back home. And, and uh, go Tomahawks and go Dogs. <laughs> Okay, we continue with the 20.